Hey there, I want to show y'all another method I use to conceal carry. As usual with my outfits, there's not a lot of room for this type of activity, but it's a challenge I take every morning when I wake up and probably the reason I'm a complete holster junkie. So without further ado, ta-da! Bet you didn't see that coming. Glock 17, two 33 round magazines. This is my very first firearm and I have safety checked and cleared the weapon. It doesn't even have a magazine in it. Now, the fact that it was my first weapon, I was 15 years old and I thought lasers were super cool and even necessary, but I know that not to be the case now. If an intruder sees this blinking in the dark, that's gonna give your position away. So I don't recommend lasers, but I already had the guide rod replaced with the Crimson Trace laser, so it's already there. Um, I also had, because this is a Gen 1, the recoil spring replaced for a lower tension one because I was having to constantly cycle plus P ammo through it. Also had Trijicon front and rear sights put on. As you can see, this weapon's in really good shape. There's no holster wear or anything, so that's my baby. Now, with the 33 round magazines, I have hollow point and FMJ. Now the reason, y'all already know the difference between the two and their purposes, but just explaining why I would have two different magazines. FMJ is good for going through a car door, um, light body armor, if it's winter time and somebody has a lot of clothing on, it's just gonna penetrate better. Hollow point, um, it's known for not having over penetration problems of the FMJ. So if you're in a crowded area, and you don't want to hit a friendly. Also, the hollow point does a lot of organ and tissue damage. So that being said, I would not typically go out of the house with 84 rounds of ammunition on me and a full size pistol concealed. But I just wanted to show you guys that it could be done. So hope you liked it and we'll see you next time.